It's time for a look at what's happening in the entertainment world. Marcus, Allen, I know you're joining us live. You're talking about bikes. I'm watching your Facebook Live behind the scenes right now. And you're talking a little entertainment too. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Uh, in entertainment news, we'll get to it in a moment. Look, I, I don't want to mar your otherwise wonderful birthday, like I said, but a big group is broken up. This is Isaac. Isaac Gonzalez, for the last six years, has been raising money for the YMCA by doing this marathon bike ride. How far into it are you now? About 30 minutes, about uh, eight miles so far. How much fundraised? Uh, over uh, $5,000 so far. Got it. His goal's 10. I'll tell you how you can help him help the kids in a minute. In the meantime, back to that ADM group saying, take a look. It's the end of an electronic music era. Daft Punk is splitting up. They made the announcement via a video posted online. The French duo Guy Manuel de Home Cristo and Thomas Benglatier started the group in 1993. They started knocking out club hits and they won Album of the Year at the Grammys for Random Access Memories in 2014. Turns out that's also their last studio album. No word on why Daft Punk is decoupling. But there's another dynamic duo on the music scene. Obama and the boss. I learned like twist and shout. Did your folks say anything? Keep it down. They're not making electronic music, but they did make a podcast together. Renegades, born in the USA, features Bruce Springsteen and the former president Barack Obama hanging out and talking about all sorts of things. The first two episodes on Spotify now. Morgan Wallen still number one on the Billboard 200 for his album Dangerous, the double album. It's the sixth week and top overall, and the second since Wallen was caught on tape using the N-word. The last time a country artist spent that long in the top of the Billboard 200 charts was Garth Brooks, 92. In the TV world, the Misery Index, now the top cable comedy of the year. Impractical Jokers and normal people compete on this game show. In Practical Jokers, cast members Joe and Sal are surprised by the celebrity fans. Uh, Adam Sandler stopped us and said uh, that he was a fan of the show, and I think that blew us all away because we all grew up on Sandler movies, huge fans of you know of him and Paul McCartney too. We heard that was amazing too. Yeah, Paul McCartney's a good one. Yeah, I mean you don't really get bigger than him, I guess, right? The Dalai Lama. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Lama. Uh, I don't think so. I love those guys. The full interview on my Facebook page, Mark S. Allen Show. Also on my Facebook page, just did a Facebook Live with this guy. And again, six years you've been doing it. Last year you thought about throwing in the towel, but with the pandemic you realize the need's greater than ever. The, the need is greater than ever. And, you know, it's been such a downer of a year. This is actually something I really look forward to. So even for myself, I figured let's do it again. Let's have some fun. What I love about it, he's doing this amazing, enduring effort, yet the kids just popped out like it was any other day. His kids just popped out and go, hey, Dan, what's going on? Happy yeah, birthday. they're just getting ready for school. There's crazy old dad helping out somebody again. Awesome. Well, I hope you have the happiest of birthday. Make his birthday dream come true. Let's get him well yeah. over $10,000. The link of how you can help him on my Facebook page. And once again, throw out your socials, your handles, so we can watch you. Yeah, find us at the Superior California YMCA or Sacramento YMCA on Facebook. And I'm at Isaac Gonzalez on Facebook. Yeah, that's awesome. Streaming live right there. <laughs> live on ABC 10's Morning Blend as well. Back to you. Yeah, I love how everybody is wishing him happy birthday. And I like the title. Oh, it's just crazy old dad helping somebody out. That is pretty awesome.